Good morning. Hello, hello. Um, it's me. It pretty much always is. It is um, December 18th, uh, about seven o'clock in the morning. See, look at me. I know how to, I know how to video in the morning as well as late at night. How about that? Um, I am, I've been staying with a beautiful soul for the last uh, few days uh, who I met over at a food bank where I was volunteering and um, Simon so Borrego Springs, California, um, out in the desert, really, really desert, and <laughs> um, it's just uh, blowing my mind. Um, I had an initiation a couple of days ago, uh, and everything is different um, in me, about me, I think. Um, I'm not even sure what me means anymore. Not sure what I means anymore, um, but anyway, very powerful, really positive movement. And um, but I've been staying with a, a lovely uh, person the last few days, and today I, I had planned to go over to the uh, is it Deer Creek or Deer Park? I think Deer Creek. <laughs> I don't Deer Park. I don't know. Um, to the monastery in Escondido, and. There was some uh, kind of not quite smoothness about it yesterday. Um, just online, I couldn't quite find what I needed in order to solidify the reservation. So I'm not really sure if I'm going over there or not. Um, I sent them an email and just asked them to call me um, and explain what I was looking for. But it's the week before Christmas, and I can go there just for the weekend or for the week. And I had planned to go for one week. Um, but I am so drawn to this place where I am, and I'm having such a deep experience here that um, I thought even just a couple of days uh, of good, hardcore, quiet Buddhism and uh, silent eating with people would be uh, enough of an interlude to that. But it's also a good, good hour and a half away, and of course I, you know, I gotta get out of the mountains and all of that to drive there, so we'll see if they call. What I'm really feeling drawn toward um, is to go down to Mexicali. There is a farmer's market east of here and a little bit south uh, that may have a lot of what would be needed for company production, and I know that there's a citrus farm here it does all organic, beautiful citrus, and of course that's a main, a mainstay of our recipes. Um, and but in the um, in the trek, it, there has continued to be just a real draw inward, and uh, a real draw in toward additional initiations. And so we'll see. So I'm going to go down there because the fellow that organizes the food bank uh, that I went to the other day is um, lives part time here and part time in Mexicali. But he bases from there. And I haven't ever been there before, but it's pretty close by, uh, probably under two hours. And um, he's really a very light soul. Um, and I feel I could pray with him about what's going on and to see what next steps are. But I continue, uh, even with the possibility of moving the business to a quieter, um, much, much cheaper place, <laughs> like here or like there, um, I, I even am, am challenged to ask the question of whether that is what is to do uh, or whether what is to do is to be out in the desert praying uh, because that's what I've been doing and, and that feels very, very much like what I should be doing. So um, so it's about 7 o'clock in the morning and uh, I feel like just going. I <laughs> feel really good about going. The, um, an additional, you know, really beautiful thing going on is that uh, I continue to, for, for all the work I did trying to find monasteries that would take me um, during this period of time uh, and didn't find any, you know, <laughs> uh, 
um, and then came out here and have been living the lifestyle for free, um, basically, and except for occasional expensive food that I'm <laughs> buying at the market. Um, I, it turns out this woman that I'm staying with, um, it was a monastic, and um, she's very drawn to some of the um, fringe monastic folks as well, and that there's one of her neighbors who has passed now, uh, was also a monastic for his whole life, and um, she's left the order now and lives here, but um, it's just really beautiful, uh, you know, finding, finding the people and um, being able to say at a food bank to random people, oh yeah, well I was trying to find a silent retreat and couldn't seem to find one, so here I am. <laughs> um, and it doesn't sound weird to them at all that I would be looking to be silent for a month, but um, somehow it didn't, it wasn't quite clear <laughs> to the convents um, and the monasteries that uh, there, there wasn't quite that click. And so, and I mean, their purposes are, are holy and pure in, in whatever they're doing as well. And so it was just a matter of perhaps getting me out here. <laughs> um, I also posted on Facebook earlier this week, I met a desert master and uh, spent two days with him and it was really intense and um, and I learned so much and he's been off everything for 15 years away from everything and um, has some occasional contact with, uh, with the outside world and uh, goes to some other places than here but he's been here longer right now than he's ever been anywhere and um, but he thought I was pretty hardcore for <laughs> for not being inside walls for five months which I thought was funny since he hasn't um, had what most people would consider a home in 15 years but I, I guess he homes find him and uh, he ends up in places um, you know watching them for people and different things and um, and just about the first thing he said when we met was um, something along the lines of it's astonishing how I, I've always had enough and so much more out in this lifestyle and he's you know lived well within the grid uh, before but um, so anyway I spent a better part of two days uh, and, uh, and a little bit more with him and learning and, uh, and sharing with him and and somehow I woke up the next day a completely different being. And that's nothing like that has ever happened uh, to me before, so that was new and powerful and uh, a really deep thing. Um, so I also went to yoga here and it was beautiful and I've met another healer here from Ayurvedic world and is just a beautiful soul as well. So I'm very blessed. Um, and to know that the, the, the folks within the Christian settings here are so cooperative with one another. Um, you know, it's a small place and it could go either way. It could go real cooperative or not cooperative at all. And, um, and it has been, so I'm really thankful. And, and I don't know what I means anymore, but having trouble with language now, a lot of trouble with language, <laughs> um, feeling and hearing so much possession in that word, in I, in, uh, in me, in you were, um, yeah, so I, I think new language is developing, which is the only reason I keep journaling, <laughs> because I think something is going to emerge that will take us into that new space where there's none of none of that illusionary um, language, you know, reinforcing what doesn't exist. So, namaste.
to myself as 